Hello everybody and welcome to It Invaded Episode 8 Anime Review. Episode 8 already. It feels like we're blitzing through this. It really does. But yeah, a lot of stuff went down. A lot of unprecedented. We had some, some banter. We had a, a desert, which, you know, to be fair, isn't the most interesting location because it's a desert. We learned about peeing and blood and other stuff. Uh, yeah, good. Good. It was, it was good, but I feel like it was very much a... There are po points in this episode where it did just kind of feel like they were killing time, you know, that like they were having big old, big old conversations about life and whatever else. And it was just like, I don't, don't fe really feel like this is too relevant, you know. Uh, but yeah, it, it was a set up episode. I reckon next week will be a more into it episode with, you know, obviously the end of this week's episode, which, you know, we'll get to it when we get to it. Anywho, let's just get into the episode, see what went down and everything. Let's do this. We begin with the uh, the detect not the detective the the actual crew support crew I guess they're looking up Asakai's file. Asakai was the name on the Inception well. Uh, basically, Momoki scrubbed a lot of info on the thing. They've got a few inform a bit of information. There's a lot that's not there though, so that's not good. They reckon Momoki scrubbed a lot of information. Not good. Honda Machi is still inside the id well inside the id well Inception as I said. And so that she, I guess, can't get out and they need to rescue her, basically, which they're trying to do with uh, the drill guy, whose name is Fukuda. Fukuda, I've written down here. I think that's right. Uh, so, yeah, they've been trying to use him to get to it, and they're not getting too far. They send him into the lightning well, and he's, he's not making it, really. It doesn't look like he's going to make it. Meanwhile, Matt's Woka got particles from Mama Key's bedroom, so they've got his id well now. So, they reckon that the... The cockpit to, uh, what's her name, Asukai, it will also be in Momoki's id well. Not too sure how they figure that out other than, no, I don't, I don't actually know, other than, you know, he was aware of her, I guess, maybe. I, I'm not too sure on that one. Uh, Narisago and Fukuda are both going into the id well. It's going to be double thing. And then Fukuda basically brings up a very good point. He's like, hey, in all, there can't be two ultimate detectives because one of them's got to be wrong. And it's like... Yeah, and he's like, you know, that could sort of mess up the world. They're like, just shut up and don't ask questions. You know, it's a bit like, actually, he made a very good point. That's what one of them, one of them's like, I got a feeling he might have just highlighted a big issue with this. And they're like, shut up, just let it happen. So something's going to go wrong, I think, in the coming weeks regarding two people going into one id well. Uh, whether that's Fukuda and Sakaido or whether it's Honda Machi and Sakaido in the... Uh, later it well which we'll get to uh, yeah something I think is definitely gonna go wrong with that we'll call it foreshadowing that's a that's a good word that's what we will call it Mama Key's it, it well is a uh, it's a desert as I said earlier it's it's you know a desert Cairo is right next to them they deduce organ damage due to dehydration mystery solved hooray let's go on our way no there's uh, like a tan line on the arm so someone's stolen their watches or whatever and there's some footprints so you know, we gotta follow the footprints basically. But before that, like I said, this is what I meant when I said like they killed a lot of time. Because really, mystery was she dehydrated. Let's go find out what the dude stole. But then they spend a lot of time like well, we don't want to dehydrate, uh, dehydrate. So let's pee pee on our coats to do something and stuff. I guess this, although it did sort of feel like they were killing time, Sakaido proves sort of that he's superior to an Ido just in knowing things, which I guess is because you know. I guess he's more compatible with the, the machine than uh, Fukuda is. Because, you know, Sakaido lasts longer, he doesn't die as quick as uh, an Ido does. So I guess that's why he's, like, more intelligent. So I guess Honda Machi... Honda Machi's, like, the top one. And then it's Sakaido, and then it's uh, Fukuda, I guess. Uh, and Ido. I think that's probably how it would go. No idea, that's just pure speculation. That's in my head. Uh, so, yeah, they... Split up, uh, Sakaido does one last check over of Kairu before he leaves, whereas Anaido, like, um, you know, he keeps going. You know, he, he follows the footprints, they split up, you know, yada yada. Uh, and yeah, it's, uh, you know, I, 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 they solved the mystery at this point, right? Like, the mystery of Kairu isn't really as engrossing in this one. It's a bit, it's more like, we we got this out of 
out of the out of mystery stuff. You got like there's that mystery, and it's like we don't really care about that this episode. We just want to know about. We want to find the id well. That's what we're gonna do next. After a brief moment, and I do mean a brief moment, although we have no idea how long it actually was. Sakaido follows after him and catches up fairly quickly. So either Anido is way more unfit than Sakaido. Really hate their names are really similar, by the way. You couldn't tell. Uh, he catches up very quickly. They also. Uh, on the outside and the inside, they basically figure out the sun's not moving, ergo time stopped. You know, that's basically a thing. There's a bird in the air. Maybe that's relevant to something. Well, I mean, it is a bit later on. Sonido slips down. No, Sakaido, not Sonido. Sakaido slips down a hill into some quicksand. It was pretty funny. Uh, and Ido proves he's got brains too, saying like, hey, don't thrash about and stuff. And then he talks about, about hell. And he's like, yeah, I just applied my knowledge of hell. And I'm like, oh. You, th that's okay, Anido. Didn't see that coming, but you know, whatever. I guess. I guess maybe it's because of who they were in reality. Maybe it's affected that they like know different things. I guess because Sakaido's not a quote a bad guy. He's not a bad guy. He killed serial killers. In my in my mind, that's a good thing. Uh, you know, maybe that's just me. Uh, anyway, Momaki, we go to him, he's like in an interrogation room. He learns they're in an idwell and freaks out, so that's, you know, not good. Uh, they arrive at the body in the quicksand. Uh, he's dead, the, the thief, I guess. The bird is also, like, eating his face, and I guess they never found out what he stole. I didn't see if there was actual wristbands or anything in the, the quicksand. Maybe there was, I must have missed that. Uh, but yeah, then, more importantly, they found another cockpit with, again, uh, Asukai's name on it. So the plan is... Sakaido's going to go in, and uh, Anido is on the outside. He's going to eject him after 10 minutes, basically to, um, to I guess, you know, just as a safety precaution, I guess. Which I begs the question: How are they going to get Honda Machi out still? Because they can't eject Honda Machi because they're not at her machine. So surely they'd still have to go in the other idwell anyway. And by they, I mean Anido, because Sakaido can't go in his own idwell. So really. This is like scouting, I guess, in a way. There's probably more stuff, unless they can like log out themselves. I have no idea. And they just can be like, hey, Ondomachi, you solved the mystery, let's go. No idea, really. Uh, Skyro heads in, and at the very end, Momoki shouts, hey, everything is a trap. So, it looks like he was framed by someone, or, I don't know, maybe Asakai, no, Asakai, uh, Asakai was after the serial killer man, John Walker. I was going to say maybe Asakai is John Walker, but that don't make no sense, like timeline-wise. Maybe it's like more than one person? I have no idea. A A Asakai has got to come into play somehow, despite the fact we've never seen her. Uh, I don't think, and maybe in a flashback, I can't remember. It's, it's really intriguing, this show. I don't know how many people are watching it, but, but more people should, because it's flipping, it's fun. It's fun to try and figure out what's going on. I have no idea is essentially where I'm at right now. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm enjoying it. Like I said, a bit a bit of a nothing episode. It wasn't terrible though. Uh, but it looks like next week we're gonna get a. It's gonna be good. Sakaido and uh, whatever Honda Machi's character are called. I can't remember. They're gonna meet and probably try and solve a, a mystery. Maybe it'll be a mystery they can't solve. Maybe it'll because there's two of them. It'll break the world. Who knows? I have no idea. Anyway, thank you everybody for watching this review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider subscribing and stuff. For more reviews, it will help me appreciate myself. No, that's not what I meant at all. I appreciate everyone that does, is what I tried to say. Uh, I will see you next week for another episode of this. And bye, guys.